An organized crime operation that used gang members as enforcers ran several local marijuana dispensaries. That is according to federal agents and police who are now revealing details of a major investigation. Gigi Gracia is live in West Hollywood outside one of those dispensaries that's been shut down. Gigi? And Carlos, today's raids and arrests, well, it's the culmination of a four-year investigation involving four different police agencies, the Drug Enforcement Administration, even the Secret Service. And take a look behind me, because this entire investigation centers around medical marijuana dispensaries and distribution. Now, the Beverly Hills Police Department calls it an organized criminal enterprise operating much like a mafia, distributing marijuana not only here but across the country, hiring gang members as enforcers who used violence and intimidation is their calling card and dealing drugs not the only crime beverly hills pd along with the la county sheriff's department and the lapd say they've documented there's attempted murder home invasion arson burglary and more now police and federal agents serving search warrants on four marijuana dispensaries including the zen dispensary and alternative herbal health services both in west hollywood marina caregivers in marina del rey and la brea compassionate caregivers in la now three men were arrested they are andrew kramer Renee Johnson and Jonathan Livingston. All of them are from L.A., and they're charged with a total of 46 felony counts. And according to police, they're some very dangerous guys. Yes, these individuals are willing to go to great lengths um, to uh, intimidate their victims uh, by conducting home invasion robberies, as well as throwing Molotov cocktails through their residence, uh, attempting to burn their homes down, and attempting to murder the uh, residents at the location. Now back here live on Santa Monica in West Hollywood, we spoke to Dr. Dina. She's a medical marijuana consultant speaking on behalf of Alternative Herbal Health Services. She says they don't know why this business was raided today. No one was arrested. And she says they have nothing to do with any of the three men arrested. Now, the medical marijuana industry has long denied that they attract a criminal element. But proponents of Measure D, that's going to be on the L.A. city ballot uh, during elections next month. Well, they often make that argument. Now, Measure D would basically shut down about 90 percent of the medical marijuana dispensaries in the city of Los Angeles. There is a competing measure, and that's Measure F, and that would allow the shops to continue operating, but under much stricter rules and regulations. Reporting live in West Hollywood, I'm Gigi Gracia at Fox 11 News.